In the figure above, BD is parallel to AE. What is the length of CE? There are two triangles in this picture. Let me redraw it so you can see it better. First place we want to start is this information right here. If these two are parallel and we got a line segment going through these two parallel lines, then you got yourself a transversal. And in a transversal, angle CDB and angle E are going to be congruent because corresponding angles in a transversal are congruent. If you look at the picture, angle C is also congruent to itself because they share that common angle. And now that I have two angles congruent with each other in both of those triangles, then these two triangles are similar. Second place you want to look are the dimensions, and we want to compare 6 to 18. Look at the scale factor of that. It's easy to find that out. All we got to do is 18 divided by 6, so that's got a scale factor of 3. Keep that in mind. Next place we want to look at is we want to find angle CD, and since this is a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Luckily, those numbers are really nice to work with. We got CD equals 10. So earlier we said the scale factor of this is 3, and now that I have CD, all I have to do is multiply by 3, because that's my scale factor, and I will get length CE, which equals 30. Final answer, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.